First of all, we want to show you what innovations have been added to our registration for Point Clouds. In the course of the registration, you can select the features to be searched for in the scan data. There are targets and spheres available. In this case, we only select spheres with a diameter of 145 millimeters. The new feature here, we can now add and select additional sphere diameters, for example, 300 and 500 diameter. The new diameters now appear in the selection list. Also new is that you can select what you want to allow as assignment. For example, a geodetic point can only be assigned to one sphere, which simplifies the search a lot. During the registration, we can now create new clusters and assign the scans accordingly for a better overview and structure for the scans. We start the extended importer and we can see that all scans are in the same cluster. To get a better view of the scans, you can select specific scans and rename the cluster name. The new cluster name automatically appears in the selection list. A simpler method of doing this, however, is to activate the selection menu with the right mouse button to select the cluster view. We see that the new cluster name can be seen here as well. To move multiple views to the other cluster, select them and simply drag them into the desired cluster. You can also rename the clusters by clicking directly and typing the new label. This creates the cluster for this project. Naturally, as many clusters as required can be created. You can also select Change the cluster assignment in the list view called Scans. After the automatic target and constellation search, it is possible that all scans in the inside cluster could be assigned to each other since they are in a different group. The scans 18 and 19 are located in the same cluster, but not in the same group. To make the assignment manually, we open two scans and one scan of group 11. Since we know which sphere is located in both scans, we can select and rename them. In this case, X1095. In the other scans, we can do the same with the chosen sphere. Then we start the constellation search again. We now see that the assignment was done correctly and all scans are in the same group. To get a log of the registration, we double-click on the registration report and we will automatically create one. On the second page of the protocol, we see how many spheres we have used and the estimated variance factor. On page 3, we see the connection graph. The list on the next page after that shows the accuracy of the system. We are under 30 millimeters and in the color chart we see the most imprecise distance measurement which is located between scan 19 and scan 16. PointCab. All point clouds, one software.